Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at updating the firmware on a uh, busy firm MA. Um, this product works a little different uh, because it only connects with our care using Bluetooth wireless connection. So I've clicked into my busy firm MA here. You can see it pulling up. And if I go down here to information, let's take a look at the uh, uh, firmware level that's already on this sensor. So right now, this is ODO UH. 101. And if I want to see the latest version of firmware, I can go over here to the Hamilton website. I'll pull it up here. And I can go to the knowledge base under articles. And if I look here, I'm just going to type in the search for firmware. I can download the latest product. So for the Visi Firm MA, it is ODO uh, UH102. And there's the release notes here if I want to see what the changes are to the firmware. Fortunately, I've already downloaded this, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is close this sensor and let's go to the backstage here and down to the firmware. It identifies my sensor here uh, in the list. And I will make a note here that you really wanna follow the instructions to the T here for updating the firmware. If you don't follow it by each bullet point or letter, then uh, uh, this can be a little tricky. I'm gonna go over to my firmware file here. I'm gonna go find the firmware I downloaded. Here it is. I'll open it and I'll see a checkbox here and now I'll hit update firmware. Now this takes a little longer because this update process is doing going through Bluetooth instead of over a wired Modbus connection. So at this point, I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit. Okay, so our firmware update is just about wrapping up here. Let's let it finish up. And I'll get a message here, update firmware successfully. And we should be done. Now, I like to generate a configuration report when this is done, know that it uh, the firmware has been updated. So we can do that. That runs a little quicker here. And this configuration report is saved uh, with the sensor. So uh, when we go back out uh, and click on the sensor, we can go and take a look at this. There we go. So we'll go back out here. Let's click on our um, DO sensor here. And let's just see what it lists for the firmware. And then we know that we are complete. So up comes the DO sensor. We're gonna go down here to the information tab. And we can see that we are now updated to the 102 version of the firmware. So that is how, it done, how it's done. Last but not least, we can go into reports here and we can see that we have a configuration report that we can click on here and it will pull up and it will list the changes that have been done. So this is good to keep on file here um, whenever you make changes to the sensor or its configuration. Thanks a lot and have a good day.